What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Costas and today we're talking all things iPhone photography. I got five banger tips for you guys on how to get better shots on your phone. Let's get it. So the first tip is to just get absolutely pitted. And how do you get pitted? You shoot when the lighting's good, guys. That's the first tip, shoot when the lighting is good. It doesn't matter if you're shooting on an iPhone or professional DSLR camera, lighting is everything when it comes to photography. It's about seven o'clock now. The lighting is like super nice and just golden. That's why we call it golden hour, baby. Stick to the basics, shoot when the lighting is good and your photos will just naturally turn out a lot better. Kind of a dope shot though. Let's go this way. Let's use some reflection. Do you feel me? Oh, with that 0.5. Yeah, we got to shoot golden hour more often, Doc. These photos are fire. Is that kind of cool or no? Oh, kind of. Hold on now. Wait a second, dude. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. So my next tip is to use accessories. And Sandmark was actually kind enough to send me their macro lens. And I've been shooting with it lately and I've been getting some really cool shots. If you don't know what a macro lens is, essentially it lets you get super close to an object and keep it in focus. And another thing that's really cool about this lens is that it's really well built. Like the build quality is really good. It doesn't feel like another cheap iPhone accessory, which is why I'm actually gonna be keeping it in my camera bag and shooting with it pretty consistently. And right now we're at the Venice Canals. I can't think of a better place to get some cool photos with this lens, so let's check it out. Ow, fuck, I keep getting poked by these things, dude. Okay, here we go. We're now at the Venice Boardwalk, and the reason for that is because the Venice Skate Park is right over there. And the next tip is to use burst mode to capture movement. And what cooler place to capture movement than at the skate park? So let's go check it out. So now we're down at the water and the next tip has to do with video specifically. And the iPhone can actually shoot 120 frames a second slow-mo and it's really cool. And what's even cooler is if you lock the focus, check this out, if you bring your hand close, lock the focus and you can do some pretty cool things with that. So let's go down to the water and check it out. So my feet just got absolutely soaked when I tell you that both my feet and my shoes were submerged under the ocean. Uh, but yeah, we got a really cool shot and we got one more tip for you. And for my last tip, I headed down to Santa Monica at night to do a little long exposure photography. To pull off this cool effect, you're gonna wanna open up your camera, make sure night mode is on, and also make sure live photo mode is on. You're then gonna take a photo and preferably it has lights that are moving in it. Then go to the photo, swipe up and scroll over to long exposure. You're then left with this awesome effect that makes for some really cool photos. And that does it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which tip or trick was your favorite. Please smash that like button if you like this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. That does it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.